Hello there to you and a very, very warm welcome. I hope that you're very well. Uh, a couple of days ago I came across something which I've never seen before and is very, very highly remarkable. It's an account of Gurdjieff uh, by his son, uh, Michel de Salzman. And Michel de, Sal de Salzman lived from 1923 to 2001. And he was the son of Jean de Salzman and George Gurdjieff. And he was also president of the Gurji Foundation for many, many years, until his death in 2001. During the last decade, few decades of his life, he actually had a group uh, that he ran in, in a little village in Switzerland called Chandelin. Uh, and this is an account of Gurji by his son, Michel de Salzman. It reads as follows... Gurdjieff was not a magician, nor a thaumaturge, which is a worker of miracles, a thaumaturge, nor a philosopher, nor a mystic, as some have claimed. He was something else, at the same time simpler, but no less extraordinary. He was a danger, a real threat, a threat to one's self Carmen, a threat for the little regard one had of oneself, a threat for the comfortable repertoire where we generally live. But at the moment the threat appeared, like a, a ditch to cross, a threshold to step over, one was helped to cross it by his presence itself. This threat was quickly followed by a sense of well-being. One had to set aside the mask. One had sloughed off the weight of one's images and one felt suddenly free. For all those who came near him, the meeting was a shock. Three ways to express this. Being stripped having a feeling of responsibility, and being small. I, I, I would say small, not compared to Gurdjieff, but small in front of the grandeur of the human condition, if you will, which was as of yet unfathomed, and to which one suddenly became attuned. I say stripped, because, as I have said, a moment ago, all the masks kept falling and with a new feeling of responsibility because suddenly there was the need to respond to a, a new vision of the human condition, of being human. I would like to convey the importance I experienced while near him I beg your pardon, I would, like to, I would like to convey the impression I experienced while, while near him, the impression that emanated from him, the impression of a permanency. He was always quiet, contained, regardless of the circumstances, dramatic or otherwise. And there were many such, whether he was on his way to the market or remaining with his students, presiding at his table with his many guests. There was always the same kind of density of presence, as if he were being as if he were being seen, as if he if his own seeing without judgment was upon the world. It was contagious. When one was under the sway of his quietness, one had the feeling, all of a sudden, of seeing things from a distance, from tranquillity. As for the children who were at the Prairie, each one retained an indelible memory of this time. I always felt that the meaning of Gurdjieff's education was to give the children, on the one hand, the sense of a very challenging life, sometimes reduced to the essentials, even to restriction and on the other hand to experience the, to experience the sense of plenitude the feeling 
of having been satisfied, gratified and completed, and have even more than what they had hoped for, to have always these two aspects, so as not to form beings who, who are naive, to be neither in a state of perpetual demanding nor in a perpetual state of dreaming without knowing the essential reality of life and its possible hardship. End of quote by Michel de Salzman. I know that I have a number of Michel de Salzman videos on the channel, but uh, the other ones uh, actually are about his work and his working methods. This is a description of Gurdjieff and of the impression that Gurdjieff had upon Michel de Salzman. Uh, and when I first read it, it was, it was very, very beautiful and very elevating and inspirational to read that but from someone who had grew up with Gurdjieff and spent most of his life with him. Michel de Salzman, 1923 to 2001. Thank you for all the sublime work that you've done because it's still here with us all. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope you have a very, very beautiful evening and hope that you've gained something from this little talk by Michel de Salzman. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Bye.